What's up guys, welcome to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, you can see we have an E30 M3, it's a 1988 M3, and we are doing a full factory restoration. Now I haven't posted a video in a while, but I wanted to give you guys a tour on everything that I've done up until this point. It's been about two months and I've done a lot of work on this thing, so I want to give you guys a tour of what I've done. Let's start off with the interior. As you can see, we've got most of the glass installed, but inside we've got an immaculate brand new carpet here. We've got all of our seals we still have to install, but we got the dash installed, we've got the center console, we've got the carpet, we dyed the rear carpet here, we got our rear seats installed here. As you can see, we've got our red seat belts. Our headliner is complete, including the visor panel and the mirror and the, uh, and the, and the cluster gauge up there. Everything in the interior is just about done. As you can see, we've got our quarter glass. We start our quarter glass with our trim. We did some SEM 39143 black trim paint on all of the window trim. We've gotten some brand new rear windscreen trim as well, and we installed both the front and the rear windscreen. Thanks to my friend Dan for helping me out with that. As you can see, the car is getting really dusty, right? So. That's okay, we're just gonna leave it alone and we're gonna give it a good wash and another detail after we're ready to reveal this thing in the sunlight. And of course, one of the major cool themes about the M3 that we have here a brand new M3 door sills. These things are real primo. I love these things. I think it really fills out the look of the M3 and it really does set it apart from all the other E30s. And you can see it's brand new. It's got this gray outline and it's just really, really nice. So I'm really glad my customer bought this because it really does fill it out nicely. Once we finished the interior, we went right down on the underside and did the gas tank and all the lines that go from the gas tank to the EVAP and the, in the uh, carbon canister all the way to the front of the car. So everything on the underside there is done. We've got the filler neck, we've got the gas tank filler here, and all of the EVAP stuff up in here is all done. We did the rear suspension, including the trailing arms, the, the rear subframe. We got um, the brake dust shields installed. We've got our uh, Kony shocks, our uh, sway bar, and of course, um, we got our springs coming up next. But we gotta clean our hubs next, and we gotta get our half shafts installed, and our diff. Take a look at that diff. If you guys remember from a previous episode, we, we rebuilt this 346 rear end with all new seals, all new gaskets, and we went from the torsion diff to a uh, six disc, six clutch disc, uh, traditional style limited slip in this unit. And it is perfect and ready to install. All of the uh, bolts have been completely uh, re-honed or re-tapped to make it really easy to install because these things are kind of a bear to install and align. So to have these threads tapped and uh, basically ready to go is a really big plus. We've got our Z3M finned coupe uh, Z3M coupe thin differential cover here, and we're just gonna keep this here for the time being. Okay. What else did we, do? we also did our complete front suspension, or at least most of that front suspension right here. We've got our aluminum, brand new aluminum E30 M3 control arms with our front sway bar, and we've got our new offset control arm bushings installed as well. And we've got a nice powder coated front subframe. We've got our steering rack here that we have to clean up. Brand new inner and outer tie rods we've got to install in our next episode. And we can get this thing installed as well. And then finally what we did, we did the brakes right back here. We've got brand new powder coated calipers specific to the E30 M3. They came off of this model and we just cleaned them up. We had them black. Uh, gloss powder coated, and we've got our solid st uh, our stainless steel brake lines, brand new pads, brand new sensors. Everything is essentially brand new with these guys, so I'm really happy to install. This is going to be a super easy, seamless install. But now that that's done, guys, we're going to start moving on and getting a little bit more engaged with you guys as the audience in this project, and we're going to start going back into the front suspension. Now we've got our Coney front suspension here. Uh, we've basically just removed the old stuff from the existing spindle arms, and we're going to be cutting this out. We're going to be putting in the new, the new uh, uh, springs and shocks, 
and we're basically just gonna be uh, getting this thing 100% back up to snuff. So that's what we're gonna be doing next. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. What we need to do now is we need to shorten the front struts on this E30 M3. As you can see, it has the factory spring perch. The old setup literally had the shock, which is right here, sitting on here just like that. The uh, previous owner didn't even cut the lower spring perch, which is pretty shoddy. It's still functional, still works, but it's not the way we want to do it. We want to cut this puppy off, and what we need to do is, because we're using a Kony adjustable shock, you can see here that the new shock is about an inch and a half to two inches shorter than the old shock, which means that if we were to put it in just like this, regardless of cutting off the perch, it's going to rattle inside of here. Now, any enthusiast who's, who knows ground control knows that you have to cut two inches off of the spring perch, so we're gonna do that today. Let's start off by cutting this off, let's cut this on a bandsaw, let's cut the weld, and let's cut about an inch and a half off and weld it back together. All right, so now we got the shock sits right in here. This guy can install just like that. Screw it in. You can make sure you screw it tight enough and eventually you get it nice and snug at least right off the bat. It doesn't move anywhere, right? So this is good. So now we're working on the lower spring perch. And the lower spring perch sits on this just like that. This guy is your lock. This is your ride height adjustment. So you get these too close. You find that the spring is gonna sit just like this. And then we got our top. It's gonna go on like this. And then and then we got this sub-assembly here, which is our, our, our camber adjustment. Um, and that's gonna, although I can't really put it on here because of the zip ties that's holding the whole assembly in place, that's gonna go right on top of there with the nut. And uh, we'll paint this guy up and we'll assemble the brakes and the front rotor and we'll, we'll be in great shape. So, In the next episode, guys, we're gonna be getting this car on the ground. I'm really excited to finally see and get this thing sitting on its own weight, although the front will be a little higher because there's gonna be no S14 in it yet. But we're getting very close to making uh, our next episode or two be just dedicated to S14 rebuild. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. My name is Frank Macaluso, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks, guys. Whoa, 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 cut. What do you guys think I'm gonna do? You think I'm just gonna not give you a video for two months and then finally give you a video of just me doing a whole bunch of stuff uh, without giving you any type of, of reward for your patience? Of course I am. But we're gonna finish this up, guys. We're gonna finish this up. We're gonna get this on the ground. We're gonna get the, uh, the 17 by eight and the 17 by nine wheels on there. We're gonna get the two, th whatever the tires are. I don't even know. I'm just, I'm just so excited to show you guys what this thing is gonna look like when we get on the ground. So let's do a little bit more work. Let's get those titanium lug studs and lug nuts on there, tighten this thing up and get it settled on the ground. Let's do it. All right, a couple of precursors before we do this reveal. First, the car is dusty. Second, I don't have a steering rack installed. Third, the front struts still need to be fully welded, clean, polished, painted, whatever, right? So everything's gonna be a little bit dirty. I put the brake rotors on for spacing requirements, but I haven't also adjusted the ride height. So we need to do the ride height adjustment as well. And um, 
and then finally tune that in, and then we can get the final, what the car is gonna look like when everything is done. I'm probably gonna end up having the front a little bit higher than the rear, because the engine's not in it, and the weight of the engine is gonna bring the front of the car down. So I need to make sure that that is also taken into account. Without further ado, let's do the time lapse and the reveal. not bad for a first cut still need to go a little lower I think I think that the engine in installed is going to bring this front end a little lower but I want to go just maybe a couple of turns um, a little bit on the front and definitely on the rear I got to go lower too so let's bring it up let's make a couple of small adjustments let's bring it right back down I think this looks a little bit better. There's still a bit of a fender gap here, but this wheel can easily get tucked into this fender. The rear's a slightly different story based on the offset of the wheel. Um, I'm not sure what the exact specs are in this, but I will get them to, sh to share with you guys at the description down below in the video. But this looks like it's gonna be a little bit hard to tuck this wheel in. So I think that this is actually probably gonna be okay where that is. It will continue to settle out as we drive it, as will the front with the, with the increased weight of the S14. Not very heavy, but it's, it's heavy enough to bring this down just a tiny bit. Everything will uh, settle out, and I think that this is where it's gonna end up living. So having said that, guys, thank you so much for watching and continuing to watch this series and sharing with your friends and telling them about what I'm doing in this build here. We're basically about four to five weeks away from getting this thing driving and completed and delivered to my customer. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. And for real, this is Frank Macaluso signing out for another episode of the E30 M3 NLA Restoration. Peace. And yes, the peace thing at the end, yeah, that was a beautiful build thing. I love Chris, I love everything that he does, I love the builds, I love watching. Guys, I'm a big fan. Don't please don't sue me, please. Don't, please don't sue me. All right.